dark too. Because I never hit. Oh, I never hit stop recording, but I backed out of it, so it should be any problem. I don't. Uh, hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sports One Hundred and One. I'm Scott Trella. Uh, we're going to talk uh, the Ohio State men's basketball game between the Buckeyes and the Spartans. We'll talk Cavs and NBA basketball. We'll talk Tribe and Major League Baseball. We'll talk a little bit about the Browns. Uh, but first, here is today's Scott Sports One Hundred and One trivia question. 1990s actress Holly Robinson went on to marry which now retired NFL player? I will have the answer later on the podcast. Uh, the the uh, Buckeyes lost uh, to the uh, Michigan State Spartans 80 to 69 in in their final game of the regular season at Breslin Center in East Lansing, Michigan, before the uh, NCAA March March Madness tournament gets underway on March 17th. The Buckeyes cut the Spartans lead. In half in the first half, but were down by six at the end of the first half, 38 to 32, and things just did not go the Buckeyes' way in the second half as the Michigan State Spartans just had the Buckeyes' number in this game by far, and they went on to win by the final of 80 to 69. Dewan Washington, Dewan Washington Jr. led the way for the Buckeyes with 16 points, five rebounds, and one assist. C.J. Walker, 14. Uh, points, four rebounds, and one assist. Uh, E.J. Liddell, 12 points and four rebounds. And Luther Muhammad, uh, 10 points, five rebounds, and uh, one assist. Next up for the Buckeyes, we have the seventh seed in, in this year's NCAA March Madness Tournament. Uh, uh, the Buckeyes will face uh, the Purdue Boilermakers in the Big Ten Tournament this Thursday. Tip-off is at 6.30, and that will be on... Uh, Either uh, ESPN, FS1, or Big Ten Network. Ch- check me for that. I'll keep you updated. Moving on to the Cavs. The Cavs uh, beat the San Antonio Spurs tonight by the final of 132-129 uh, to 129 at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse to win their second in a row and extend their win streak to two. Uh, the Cavs are up 35-18 to 18 at the end of the first quarter. The Cavs scored 25 points in the second quarter. And led uh, by 10 at halftime, 60 to 50. Uh, then in the third, the Cavs scored 27 points and uh, trailed by four at the end of the third, 91 to 87. And in the fourth, the Cavs scored 31 points and the Spurs scored 27. And the Cavs and Spurs were tied at 118 apiece and were headed to overtime. In OT, the Cavs went out and scored 14 points and the Spurs. Scored 11, but it was not enough for the Spurs to get the win as the Cavs win in overtime by the final of 132-129. to 129. 129, excuse me. Uh, the Cavs fall to 19-45, and 45, and the Spurs to, uh, as the Cavs go to 19-45, and 45, excuse me, and the Spurs to 26, fall to 26-36. and 36. Andre Drummond led the way for the Cavs with, 27, with 28 points, a career-high 17 rebounds, and one assist. Colin Sexton, 26 points. One rebound and four assists. And C.D. Osman uh, and Larry Nash Jr. both scored, had 19 points. And Kevin Love and Matthew Delavadova, whoa, Delhi, uh, had uh, both had 14 points. The Cavs will travel to the Windy City, Chicago, to take on uh, the Bulls at the United Center. Tip off is at 8 p.m. on Fox Sports Ohio. Uh, moving on to the Tribe. Uh, the Tribe lost to the Colorado Rockies 3-1 to in Cactus League play today at Salt Lake River Fields at Talking Stick uh, at Salt River Fields at Talking Stick in Scottsdale, Arizona, excuse me. Uh, the, uh, and uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez was on the hill for the Tribe uh, today. Rodriguez went 3, 3.1 innings, giving up four hits, two earned runs, and striking out one batter. Then the bullpen took over and just could not get over the hurdle and just could not get the job done. The drive's one and only run came in the second inning thanks to first baseman Bobby Bradley. The tribe will face the San Francisco uh, Giants tomorrow in Cactus League play at uh, Goodyear Ballpark in Goodyear, Arizona. Uh, first pitch at 4.05 and you can hear all of the game on the radio home of the tribe, WTAM 1100. 1100. Uh, now... We are halfway through the spring training season and Cactus League play, and we're about just a few weeks away from opening day of baseball, which will be on March 26th 
and that will be a Thursday, and the Tribe will take on the Detroit Tigers. I do believe that that is here at Progressive Field. Uh, just check me on that. I will let you know. And I will have a special edition, uh, opening day of baseball edition, uh, on uh, uh, March 26th. And when the Tribe takes on the Tigers. And it will be a, a Tribe edition opening day of baseball. And I will break it all down. And I will give my thoughts. And uh, it will just be a special podcast. So just join me for that. Now, uh, getting to the uh, Browns and the Combine. And uh, the upcoming draft. They've been really looking at uh, offensive tackle Andrew Thomas. And uh, uh, Steve Lyons from LSU. Thomas is from Georgia. And they've been looking at some other offensive uh Tackles and tight ends, and also some defensive linemen, which the Browns do need to get in the draft. And, and uh, Andrew Barry is really uh, keeping his eye out for what he wants, and he's also looking at backup quarterbacks who uh, for Baker Mayfield. And, uh, and this is not going to be a rebuilding year by any means. And uh, the Browns, keep this in mind, uh, the Browns have the 10th uh, pick overall in this year's draft, but they could trade up or trade down, or they could trade for Trent Williams who was granted a trade out of Washington, and now we're looking seriously looking at him as well. Now, the NFL draft kicks off on April 23rd, uh, and I will be podcasting a very special edition of it. It will be an NFL draft edition of Scott Sports 101. And for round one, I will be podcasting from my uh, from the Murphy House, the home of my really good friends, Matt and Katie Murphy. And joining me for that podcast for round one of the NFL draft will be none other than my really good friend, Matt Murphy. And we'll bring it down, and we'll, uh, uh, we will uh, uh, give our thoughts who we think the Browns are going to take for, for their pick and all the picks in the first round. And, uh, and, we, and we'll go until pick 31 in the first round is done, and then we'll wrap that up. And then I will uh, have the, uh, the uh, second through seventh rounds, second, third, and fourth for... Uh, uh, Friday, and then 5th, 6th, and 7th for Saturday, which is the 25th, leading up to t- pick 254, Mystery Relevant. Uh, so please join me for that. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I'll have my final thoughts in just a moment. But right now, it is time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Uh, 1990s actress Holly Robinson went on to marry which now retired NFL player? And if you said Rodney Pete, you are correct. And as you know, Rodney Pete played for the Philadelphia Eagles. Holly Robinson Pete is best known for her roles on 21 Jump Street and, of course, hanging with Mr. Cooper. She married 16 year quarterback Rodney Pete in 1995. Uh, now. For the Cavs, uh, they're 19 and 45, and their season is uh, basically done. And I just feel, and I feel they, they just, they, it's been a, a, just a tough season for the Cavs. And I'm not sure Bickerstaff is going to be back next year with the Cavs, and we'll have to see. And uh, but they're, they're going to re- really want to make some improvements uh, when the NFL draft, uh, I mean the NBA draft gets underway. I think it's the last next to last weekend in June, so uh, please uh, stay, and, and hopefully we'll get something out of that, and uh, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep updating you on that, so please stay tuned for that, and uh, I feel this is, I hope that, I feel this is going to be a good season for the Tribe, and but they do have some areas that they want to, they need to fill gaps in, and uh, and we will have Francisco Linder, but for, for who knows how long, but I just feel this is really going to be one of those seasons where uh, anything can happen with the Tribe. But I think they, I think we will make the playoffs. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. It's a long way between now and then because we've got to play 162 games before we do that. And uh, I just feel now with the Browns, uh, I just feel, I really feel they might want to trade for Trent Williams or take uh, either Andrew Thomas or Steve Lyons with the 10th pick overall. But we'll see what happens when the NFL draft gets underway beginning on April 23rd. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for this edition of Scott Sports 101. I'll be back with another podcast tomorrow. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3, 2, 1. I'm done.